Hi guys, it's Alicia. Thanks so much for clicking on this video to hang out with me. Today I have an interesting topic that I've actually been wanting to talk about. I just didn't know how to go about it and really what to say, how personal to get, how opinionated to get. And as I was getting ready, as I told you guys, I don't really plan my videos ever. It's usually I'm in the mood to film, an idea will come across my head and I'm just like, I have to do it right now, today, we're getting it done. I have been wanting to speak upon this topic for a while and that is my opinion and my response about the couple YouTubers that have come out of the closet publicly on YouTube and we all know who they are. If you don't know them, then you're not going to have any idea who I'm talking about, but Ingrid Nielsen, who is also known as Miss Lamarazzi, and Joey Graceffa, and also Shane Dawson, which are three of my favorite YouTubers, have openly come out as gay or bisexual here on YouTube within the past like month, like all within the same time. And I had no idea about Ingrid. It came out of nowhere for me. Joey, I just kind of figured all of us kind of knew. And Shane, I know that there was a lot of rumors like, is he gay? But he obviously had been in a relationship with a woman for a while. And so they each publicly made a video about coming out as Ingrid and Joey came out as gay and Shane Dawson came out as bisexual. I thought that was super interesting and super brave of them because they are already so much in the public eye and for them to come out openly and say, I'm gay, and they were terrified of the response that their audience was going to give them. And I am just so glad that everybody was so nice and loving and supportive to them. My I totally support them, I'm proud of them, and I am inspired by them that they have been able to be as open and as honest and just bring us along in this journey. I think that is what YouTube is all about, just being able to put yourself out there to show other people that we all go through the same struggles and we all have the same feelings. Everybody's situation is just different. And I'm not so much making this video about my opinion on them because I don't really know them personally. I've of course watched each and every one of them for the past couple of years regularly. I love them all for different reasons and um, if you don't know who they are I will link their videos of their coming out videos in the description bar below as well. And Shane Dawson is one of my favorites. I'm taken by surprise though that he came out as bisexual and I just feel really bad for him because he's just in a really like dark confusing, disoriented place in his life and he's being very open and honest with us about it and he's putting it out on YouTube for the world to judge him and I just hope that like people are nice to him because it is so hard already to have those feelings inside and what society thinks of, you know, gay people and being bisexual and transgender and all these different things that have been going on in our world like in american society i should say um with caitlin jenner as well and i think she's beautiful i totally support her as well and i'm just amazed like when i first heard the rumor i didn't think it was real but i am so proud of her and just i 100 percent support her and i just I love the Kardashians and I love the Jenners, so anything that they do, I've always supported and loved. So, Caitlyn Jenner coming out as a transgender woman, I think um, is amazing. And I just hope that, you know, with all of the fame that she already has, that she uses it in a positive way to give back and to support the LGBT community as well. That is my hope for her. There's actually a bigger reason as to why I want to make this, not because I'm a chimosa or anything like that. Although I am, like, hello, which female isn't. I definitely am a super, like, nosy and I want to know all the gossip and especially, like, the celebrity gossip. And also within YouTube, like, I definitely want to know all that stuff. But I do have a biased opinion about the LGBT community. And I just wanted to kind of address it because I grew up in a Christian home. And so I grew up being taught that it was wrong. 
And now that I've gotten older and I can make my own choices and I see things through my own eyes and I have my own experiences, um, I just have a little bit of a different opinion about it. I have a lot of gay friends. A lot of my best friends are gay girls and I love them to death. They're the most sweetest people I've ever met and um, I've been around gay people my whole life. And I'm going to share something for the very first time on my channel and um, it was something I was always so afraid to talk about but now I'm just not because it's made me who I am and um, I think that I'm able to be a little more compassionate and understanding for that community because of this. I grew up in a gay and lesbian home. I grew up with my mom being in a lesbian relationship all throughout my childhood and also by my uncle who was openly gay. I never seen him with anybody but it was no secret that he was gay. Um, so I grew up with him always having his friends around and of course all of them were gay. I grew up around my mom and all of her gay friends and her girlfriends and a lot of her the relationships that she was in, um, the girlfriends always lived with us. And so I was always around gay people my whole entire childhood life. And as a kid, it was really confusing because I would go to church and I would be told it was wrong. As a child, I was very confused and as I got as I got older and became an adolescent I became very bitter towards my mom uh, for putting me in that situation in that environment because um, back in the early 90s it wasn't accepted my mom's girlfriends were always on the butch side and so I would question as to who she was is she a guy is she a girl and I remember one time I had a friend over to spend the night and when I went to school the next day they all somehow knew that my mom was gay and I got made fun of for that I don't even remember how old I was um, and so I grew up just with a lot of resentment about it and just a lot of bad feelings about it um, it left a bitterness in my heart and it wasn't until I was a teenager and got older that, that my feeling changed about it because I was angry with my mom for putting me in that environment but now I realize that that was her own choice, that was her decision at the time. Um, of course, if she was to decide to be in a lesbian relationship today, I would have absolutely no problem with it. But as a child, I was definitely confused. And now as an adult, I'm not. And I just want to put it out there that I 100% forgive my mom for putting me in that situation because I had so much anger about it as a kid and I don't really know why other than I know that it made me feel different growing up. Um, with my uncle it really didn't bother me so much I think because that was my uncle and gay boys are just so much fun so <laughs> that was the other thing. Um, but yeah I mean I grew up around gay people my whole life and it just really gave me a different perspective um, growing up. It gave me a different perspective towards gay people. And I've learned that I am in no position to judge anybody for their sexuality. People don't judge me for being married to Marcus and I am the last person to judge them. I've decided that I will just love and support each person, whether you are gay, straight, bi, no matter what gender or race you are, I just want to love you. That is it. Strongly believe that gay and lesbians should have equal rights. They are the same as us. And who are we to judge who they fall in love with? Love has no sexual orientation. I just feel like all I want to do and all I can say is that even though it goes against my religious beliefs, which I kind of disagree with now as an adult um but again i don't want to say that i disagree with christianity all together because i definitely believe in god and i definitely um pray to the same god i prayed to since i was a child as far as it goes for the lgbt community and my mom and my uncle and anybody else i know who's gay um 
I just love you. I just want to love you and support you and that's all I can do because at the end of the day, all we want is to be loved and to feel equaled and to feel wanted and to feel supported. That is all I can do as a human being and that is all I would put here on earth to do. It's to love and support. So those are just my feelings on the issue that has been going around on YouTube and if you want me to go into more detail about my my childhood and growing up in a home with a mom who was gay, um, I definitely will because it's a whole video in itself. Um, there's a lot that goes into it. My mom hasn't been in a gay relationship for many years now. I don't even know how long it's been, uh, but it's been since, oof, I don't even know, like since a little after high school and I'm way past high school now. So she hasn't been in a relationship in a really long time and um, I don't really know what her feelings are up on it now, but those are her feelings and that is her choice. And I just feel like that is between, that's her own business, you know? And um, for the people that she was with as a child, I definitely don't hold any resentment towards them now. I don't hold any bitterness towards her past relationships now and I don't hold any bitterness or anger to my mom now it was just something that I was just very confused about as a child so as far as gay people goes I freaking love them I love being around gay people I'm so comfortable around them some of my most closest friends are gay and I just love them for who they are and that's all I can do so I just want to tell Shane and Joey and Ingrid to rock on, be yourself. I'm so proud of you guys for sharing your story here on YouTube. And I just hope that we can all just learn to love and accept people for who they are. Because you can't change who you are and you don't choose who you fall in love with. That is something that I've learned too. Thank you guys for allowing me to share my feelings and my thoughts. And I know this is a very random video, but I've been wanting to just get it out there and just share it. And I didn't know how to go about it. Um, I do want to go into a deeper, more personal explanation about my childhood and how I was raised and my feelings about all of that um, and how it affects me growing up but that's a whole separate video so i would do that another time and if you would like me to do that please give this video a thumbs up and if you would like to hear more about it let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and thank you for clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already i will see you guys in my next video and until then i love you guys and love one another guys just love one another and just know that we are all the same. Yes. Just, I don't know. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.